Yes, welcome back lads. How are we? This week's daily race C is Dragon Trail Seaside, but hold your horses, it is not in a group four. Uh, we've finally had a run of group twos. Uh, this particular lap today is in the 2016 Nissan GTR. Uh, brake balance, we're running to the front. Yep, sit down, you heard it. We are running brake balance to the front. Front two for this particular lap. Uh, we tried everything from rear three to front three. Uh, the front just felt a little better under brakes because there is a few big threshold sections um, and just a little bit of extra weight over the front axle in the little bit of trail braking sections we had to do. Um, flat out through this chicane, uh, always exciting. Keep it pinned and hold your horses. But without any further ado, let's jump on board and make our way through the lap. So turn one is flat out. The first thing we're going to do is threshold braking for turn two. Uh, just a little bit before that ripple strip starts. Uh, it's going to be deep, turning in around the 50 meter mark, picking up second. We're going to stab a little bit of wide open throttle, then up into third. We want to drop no lower than 50% throttle and just push the car up and out of probably turn three, turn four uh, complex. Uh, the next little right hander is completely flat out. We're going to straddle the curb. Uh, if you get that at the right angle, it's not too violent. Breaking as the shadow passes under the bonnet. Uh, coming down into second, nice long trail braking section. Getting on to wide open throttle here early is very advantageous. Uh, we sort of run a little bit too wide there, a little bit too squiff, um, but almost got the job done anyway. Holding to the right hand side of the road, turning in, light little lift as we come down to the apex and back on to wide open throttle as quick as we can. Uh, wide open through the right hander, wide open again through the left. So just practice this one a few times, uh, get your line right, really trying to carry so much speed that you want that upshift to six as early as possible. And that's gonna give us the most amount of speed down the straight. So we're going to be braking after the ripple strip starts on the left hand side. Uh, you can see the 100 board in view there, right about in the middle of your screen. Down into second for this right hander, a late downshift, uh, just clipping the inside of the corner there to help rotate the rear. A long part throttle section on the way out of that corner. Uh, if you hit wide open throttle, you'll bag it up. If you pick up a third, the car will bog down, so you really have to squeeze it. And now, for the fun part of the lap, we're gonna sit tight, it's wide open throttle the whole way, thread the needle as best you can. Uh, you might have to have a few goes at that. Um, if you get in the habit of uh, hitting the wall, you'll find that you just continue to hit the wall lap after lap. We got a little bit of, uh, in a little bit of a rut like that ourselves. Uh, so braking after the 150 board disappears, once again the 100 board uh, well in view there. A little bit before, I was trying to brake a little bit later than that, uh, but that seems to be where we pulled it up on this particular occasion. A long threshold section, uh, just sliding the front down into the apex. Uh, using second for a quick punch on the way out, up into fourth. Uh, trying not to dis disturb the car too much on that curb on the left hand side and then a nice wide open throttle run. So chase view, full speed, here we go. So you can see we're just past the 150 board, but well before the 100 board. Uh, turning in around the 50 meter mark, just clipping both of those ripple strips. A little bit of part throttle for the second one. Uh, we're gonna straddle this one, trying to get it right underneath the car in the center. Start braking as the shadow comes under your bonnet. Uh, you want to be already half throttle on the apex, pushing the car away from this corner. As you can see, we just run a little bit too wide on the exit. Turning in from the white line, a little bit of a lift, trying to keep a lot of wide open throttle. Uh, very difficult section that. Uh, but it will produce most of your lap time. So braking, once again, after the 150 has disappeared, but the 100 is almost in the center of your screen. Uh, waiting for second. Once again, using that little hump, if you watch our videos a fair bit, we do use that to rotate the rear of the car. Part throttle on the exit. Uh, 
and then wide open throttle as you're shifting into third. The key is to thread the needle. You're going to turn in as that um, ripple strip ends on the right hand side for that death chicane. Uh, so braking just before the 100 meter board here. We are getting second. Trying to keep some part throttle there so the car rotates. Quick stab on the juice up into third and a quick run for the line. So on board now for full speed run. Just a second just before the apex. A little lift as we turn in there to get some purchase on the front tyres then straight back to wide open throttle. This kerb right underneath the car braking as the shadow passes in front of you, start to pick up the throttle before the apex, 50% throttle at the apex and push it all the way out. Uh, holding to the right as far as we can, we were doing a little turn in before the lift, trying to end up almost in the centre of the road so we can flick it back to the right and then back to the left and run it out to that kerb on the outside. Braking just after the river strip passes through the windscreen. Just really, really gentle in second on the way out of there. Just slowly squeeze it, try not to bag it up too much. So we'll just note the turn in here right as this ripple strip on the wall ends there. Should give you the best line through that chicane. Uh, once you see the chicane open, we can flick back to the right. So braking just before the 100 board. Down into second to rotate the rear. Quick jab in second, up into third, and push the car out of there. And just like that, the lap is done. So on board with some bumper cam now. All the bumper cam players, you guys know what you're looking at. It looks really weird if you ask me. There's no dash. Uh, but you do get a nice free rear vision mirror. So Simicators is still on hiatus, so there'll just be the link uh, to our last episode. Hopefully we'll get that pumping up again in February or so. Uh, so this lap was done on Twitch live on a time attack section. Uh, so you're more than welcome to check that out if you're a bit of a Twitch person or you just want to see what I go through when we're trying to get one of these laps done. Uh, so thanks for tuning in fellas and I will catch you next week. Peace.